Hi everyone and welcome to another Sketchbook Sunday episode. Today I am going to be painting a flower vine and I hope that you enjoy it and perhaps decide to paint alongside with me. So grab your sketchbook, grab your paintbrushes and paints and let's get started. So basically for this design I'm just doing like I've, I've been sort of on a flower kick recently um, I've been painting a lot of different flowers and honestly every time that I've done a flower episode so far um, if it was a new flower that I haven't painted before it it honestly was my first time painting that flower in uh, using watercolor and that's because I generally in the past did not like painting flowers and I don't know if it was because um, I just wasn't good at them or I was scared to try but um, you know given that it's springtime and sort of wedding season is even starting soon I, I was inspired to paint these sort of flowery vines that might hang on a in in wedding decor I don't know um, I showed it to my boyfriend and he said that it looked like wallpaper um, but anyways it's it's quite easy you just basically paint on a green line um, and then it's obviously going to be separated by little patches of color and you don't have to be really precise with these patches of color um, and that's sort of what I've learned during my flower painting process is the more loose and rough that your flowers look I think the more realistic they come out um, so I thought these blotches of color were sort of unrealistic so I decided to add a little bit more detail by painting on some green petals coming from the vines and I had the petals or the leaves sort of um, sprouting I guess in different directions just to spruce it up a little bit um, and you'll also see me shortly going over the actual flowers with more details um, but I'll get to that in one second also I just want to as I do in every single video um, if you if you feel like you're getting something out of this uh, tutorial or this video please don't forget to hit the like button it really helps me grow my channel and my channel has been quite slow to grow um, since I started it which it's a little bit frustrating but I'm persistent and I want I, I mean I love painting so I'm gonna keep doing it but um, you know it's been now almost five months maybe even half a year since I started my channel and I still don't have very many subscribers so if, if you do um, if you do gain something from my content then don't forget to subscribe and also hit the like button so as I was uh, talking about earlier, I'm just adding a few more details in the um, centers of, of the little blobs that I created earlier. And all you're really doing here is just making sure that your paintbrush is full of pigment and painting on these swirly, jagged lines um, throughout every single flower. and. Again, this is just to add a little bit more complexity or depth or, you know, to make it look like the flower petals are present rather than it just being a, a very flat blob. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going over every single one, adding a few more details. I even decided to add a little bit more greenery to the painting. So I chose a few flowers, not every single flower, um, but just a few of them to add even more leaves, green leaves coming out of. Just again, we, we want it to be a little bit more unique. And I also felt like there was a little bit too much white space. So I wanted to fill some of that white space up by adding some, um, some other details. I also was going to, like I usually do in my paintings, add uh, sharpie or like black pen details, 
but I forgot to do that, so you can feel free to do that if you would like. But anyways, that's about it for today's Sketchbook Sunday episode. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the like button, and I hope you have a wonderful day.